for Donald Trump and the uh, Republicans. Immigration is one of them. Uh, let's hear from Donald Trump. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets. Very, very um, strange claims there from Donald Trump, should we say. Absolutely. So first of all, it has to be said that this has been uh, debunked. Uh, there are no cases of immigrants stealing uh, people's pets and eating them. It is a fake news that's been uh, promoted on uh, the right, uh, on social uh, media. Uh, but this soundbite is the clear example of when Donald Trump went off message. Immigration should have been, as you said, uh, possibly another weakness of uh, the Democrat. And instead of going after the policies of the Democrats, which is what his campaign wanted him to do. He went off on this tangent uh, on these baseless claims about immigrants eating uh, pets instead of focusing. And there were multiple examples of that where uh, Kamala Harris sort of baited him, and he definitely took the bait. There was uh, one instance where she was actually asked about immigration, and she managed to pivot away from immigration and uh, make fun of him on the size of his crowd, saying, just look at a rally, go to a rally, and you'll see that people leave exhausted and bored. And he immediately, instead of going back to immigration and attacking her, he took that bait and started talking about how his rallies were the best, that he had the greatest rallies in the history of the United States, and that her uh, rallies had nobody and that she paid people to come to her rallies. Also a, a baseless claim. Uh, but this, this was what the Harris team wanted her to do. Uh, bait him, and he took the bait, and they wanted to remind voters of how chaotic Donald Trump can be when he's not on message. Uh, they say that is the true Trump, and they wanted to remind some of those voters that maybe have forgotten about the details of the four years under uh, Trump, and that was, that's what they wanted to do. And on that, on that strategy of baiting Donald Trump, uh, Harris did absolutely very well, and the Trump uh, team uh, wanted him to stay on message. He didn't manage to do that throughout uh, that debate. Let's talk about Ukraine now, of course, uh, a major, a major uh, issue, particularly for us here in Europe. Let's hear what the candidates had to say. And why the European allies and our NATO allies are so thankful that you are no longer president. Otherwise, Putin would be sitting in Kyiv with his eyes on the rest of Europe, starting with Poland. And why don't you tell the 800,000 Polish Americans right here in Pennsylvania how quickly you would give up for the sake of favor and what you think is a friendship with what is known to be a dictator who would eat you for lunch. I want to get the war settled. I know Zelensky very well, and I know Putin very well. I have a good relationship, and they respect your president, okay? They respect me. They don't respect Biden. We're playing with World War III, and we have a president that we don't even know if he's... Where is our president? We don't even know if he's a president. And yeah, Donald Trump once again then uh, making those claims of being able to talk directly to uh, Vladimir Zelensky and to Vladimir Putin. Did he win with that? Look, foreign policy is not going to be a game changer in uh, the U.S. Uh, election. Uh, but there were other interesting things about uh, Ukraine. Uh, the moderators asked Donald Trump twice the question, uh, do you want to see Ukraine win this war? And his answer was, I want to end the war. He was uh, asked again, and he again said, I want to settle the war. So he didn't want to answer whether he wanted Ukraine uh, to win. And she uh, went after him also, again, with the baiting, sort of going on the personal attacks, uh, saying that world leaders don't trust him, uh, that uh, Putin would eat him for lunch. Uh, so playing on uh, Donald Trump's ego to sort of get him to react, get him off of his game again. Uh, Again, foreign policy, maybe not a game changer, but she did what she wanted to do, which is, again, uh, show the personality of uh, Donald Trump and repeat uh, those elements that maybe could play a role in the sort of moderate Republicans, those sort of never Trumpers who maybe uh, were wavering a little bit. These are the types of topics on which they very much disagree with Donald Trump and the whole MAGA movement, uh, the sort of uh, talk about uh, NATO and letting Putin uh, do anything he wants with NATO members who don't pay their fair share, uh, the alliances, the role of America and the world, all of those things could, on a small group, make a difference.
Finally, this is the crucial question, I suppose, Ketevan. I mean, uh, everyone asks it, and perhaps there's no way of answering it, but who won the debate? And as well, does it actually really matter in the end? Well, the first question is easy to answer because they're already post-debate polling, and all of the polls show uh, that uh, everyone, a wide majority, about two-thirds of uh, the people who were asked, uh, saw Kamala Harris as uh, the clear winner, just like uh, they saw Donald Trump as the clear winner against uh, Joe Biden. Uh, the only thing is uh, that uh, winning a debate doesn't guarantee that you will win the election. And Hillary Clinton, for example, back in 2016, knows that all too well. Uh, how much of an impact uh, a debate has on uh, the final result of an election is a debate that has been going on uh, in the United States for a long, long time. Uh, the difference is that this race is going to be extremely close. So even if this debate maybe changes or moves the needle a little bit to one side of an, or, or another, that could be enough to tip the race on one side or, or, the, or the other. Uh, the Democrats definitely believe that it is helping them. They've already said that Kamala Harris is ready to do another uh, debate. Uh, the good thing for the Democrats with this uh, debate, which was very early for a debate, for a presidential debate, is that it was taking place in Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania is starting early voting on Monday. So this is going to be very fresh on the minds of those possible voters who are going to be uh, casting uh, their ballot. Uh, it's there is no game changer. Nobody flunked completely or won handily. Uh, but again, in a very close race, any movement, any 10,000 votes here or there could decide uh, the outcome of this election. All to play for once again. Thanks very much, Kate Van Gorgistani, our international affairs editor here on France 24.